gang, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We are gonna be diving back into Alone in the Dark. We are now on part three. This game is picking up, I'm enjoying it. I'm ready to get stuck back in, man, let's do this. Yeah, man, I, I honestly don't know why there's been so many mixed reviews on this game, man. This game is an absolute banger. But uh, if you ever wanna play a game and you're unsure, Play it, just play it. See if you like it or not. All right, so we're gonna head to the dining room. Like, you know how many times you go back and forth through these hallways is absolutely ridiculous. No, the dining room is downstairs, right? No, wait, where's the dining room? Let's see, on the maps. Okay, dining room is right here. Um, what is that? Oh, that's that channel though, it's good. Here we go. All right, let's go. On some bullshit, are we ready? You ready? I think I'm ready, let's go. Okay, I was expecting something a little bit more darker, but I'll take this. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. Mm. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, <coughs> this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the dark man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Man, that music was so peaceful. Was so peaceful. <clears throat> Somewhere else. 
to ask him a question and see if we can get any further dialogue out of him. Do you have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Mm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. I know you said Jeremy's never been here, but does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away as origin. Okay, so... <clears throat> Sorry. If we do run into um, the Dark Man, I'm guessing... They, he said pay him no attention, so... Ignore him? Sneak past him, probably? Don't shoot him? All right, let's see if there's anything in there. It doesn't look like this. Nothing we can pick up. We'll keep the torch on. I'm just ready. I'm ready, I'm on edge. I am on edge, I can't lie. Ugh. I got to remember to duck in this game, dodge. I keep forgetting to dodge. So that's one thing I have to remember to do is dodge. Dodge is my best friend. As we say, bob and weave, bob and weave. <gasps> oh, nice. It's like an old bathhouse. You go underwater. The audio, man, the, the quality of the sound, like even walking in the water, like everything is on point. Like this is what makes a great game, you know? Like the attention to detail, the small things. That guy looks a bit creepy though. There's something missing. Hello cross, so we have to find a piece to put on top of there. I feel like one of these statues are gonna come alive. You can't go up there. One of them is gonna come alive, I'm, I'm already knowing. Can we go down there? No, we can't, okay. Oh, I heard so Oh, that was just rock jump dropping. Okay. Either there's somebody on top of us or this building is about to fall down. The great, the great library. library. Let's see what this is about. It was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the prowler. Ah. Uh. So the prowler is like maybe the the evil the evil entity, the evil force. <sighs> okay, is there anything we meant to pick up here? There's something on top there. But there's nothing here. All right, let's go upstairs. I saw a way upstairs, right? Oh, my buggy, yes. There is a way up there. What's my health like? It's all right for now. God damn. I just want one of these statues. Come on, just do your jump scare already, please.
It's almost like they're frozen in time. Okay. Kia for Bertis. No idea. What am I meant to do there? Don't shoot it, maybe. Oh no, I have to go here. Wow, so slow. Is it chasing us or what? I don't understand what's going on. Oh fuck. Can I go back up? Maybe. Can I jump across? I can't. For fuck's sake, is he back up here? He is. Oh, we're going back down. Quick, motherfucker! Quick, 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 Which way am I going? Oh my god! Batman is there. What does that do? Ladder, 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 ladder. Get on the fucking ladder, mate. Get on the ladder! Alright, we're up there. Jesus. So we're just avoiding pretty much. I'm gonna go this way, do the shimmy. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I'm going this way. Let's get to that one over there in the corner. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit. What the fuck? I'm stuck. No! Is he in the doorway? He is still. No, I can go behind him. Quick, 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 quick. Fucking hell. What am I to do now? What does that do? What, what unlocked? It doesn't tell me what unlocked. I'm gonna fucking die here. Is it like a secret door? Oh, fuck me. The ladder's right there. Fuck's sakes. Run, 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 run! Which way we Okay, quick, 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 quick. I don't even see that ladder, fuck. Oh my God, mate. I am shitting myself. Alright, we've got a checkpoint at least, that's good. He's gonna pop up. Fucking hell, breathe, breathe. Oh, sorry for breathing into the mic like that. My God. I literally tried to shoot him and he said, nah, they had other plans, committed suicide. That's crazy. Oh, we can't cross there. Don't pop back up. I know this motherfucker's gonna pop back up. Here's something. Fuck what you heard, mate. We're out of here. Let's go. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. 
The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. My man said, <laughs> I'm going to read that. <laughs> Detective! Juan! Juan! I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no crack. It's like ancient Egyptian, isn't it? Darkness is crazy. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Garby, think. Think! Shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck, detective. God damn. If we have to fight him, I don't know how we're gonna kill him, because every time we point a gun at him, we wanna shoot ourselves, so yeah. It's gonna well, thank be thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey, Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, Detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon, Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, Detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the Dark Man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder if he made a promise. Can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance. I do. They made big money during the war. Their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? Crazy. <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Wow, the transition was, <laughs> transition was dope. So matchbook, what is this? Okay, the Crescent City. Okay, the look for the address to... According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Okay, items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. So, uh, yep, I know that. Thank you. Can we sneak? I don't think we can. Fuck sneaking though, let's throw at least uh where is he? For fuck's sakes. Yeah. 
Oh, he just died. Okay. I was like, what was that? We're gonna heal up anyway. We need to. Hopefully, we can find some more ammo around here. That would be. If I sneak, oh no, he can spot you. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. oh my god, I thought I fucking reloaded. Wow, did it still ever reloaded? Oh. I thought I had reloaded, but I didn't. I've got the melee as well. I should use my my weapons because I haven't. Machine gun cartridge. Oh, nice. So that means we've got a machine gun close by somewhere. We are going to find it. That's for certain. Yep. Come on, mate. You know what? I'm going to pick up my... Well, is my health that low? It's not that low, right? Pick up the sledge. We're going back for business, mate. Let's do it. I hear like one more. Just to get that red off the screen. There might be something in here. Okay, nice. That's the map. The sewer system has a tunnel running right below Craig's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. Oh, we need to get under on the other side. So we can go around. Uh, let's reload because we don't want to reload whilst whilst in combat that's that's a no no Such a potato. Okay, if they come out running, I am taken off, mate. Of course, it's wedge shot. I'm surprised they didn't say I needed the key. Okay, when I looked through the window, there was a lot of stuff here to collect, so let's get collected. Okay, stick doors key. I don't know where that, I don't know what that is for, but. I'm sure it would come in handy soon anyway. Reload. Um, there was no other entrances around there, right? No, on the other side, so let's keep going this way. If you go down here, what is it? It blocks off, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing down there. What is back here, though? Let's have a look back here. Okay, 
typewriter ribbon. That would be so shitty if you fell into the water, right? I wish you could sprint with the Molotovs. Um, and I wish if you threw them, it would, you know, set the enemies alight. It's so shit that it doesn't. Uh, oh, okay, this is what we needed it for. Unlock some more enemies. All finished. By the sounds of it, yeah, let's get it. Oh, it does sit there. Nice. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Oh shit, get the fuck out of the way. Heal up. Oh, that was close. That was a close call. Too close for my liking. Let's switch sledgehammers though. I'm gonna go back and get the other one. Oh, maybe not. I'm just gonna go down there. Can we go down there? Fuck's sakes. Oh, let's get the shotgun already. Bob and weave time. I'm gonna have no more ammo left. Are you joking, mate? Damn, I fucked that up. I royally fucked that up. All right, let's go. And I've got one health. I'm going to preserve that because I think I will need it. We go through there, we can. Let's do it. Mm. I've got no more shotgun ammo left, so that is not. Okay, I got one now. Let's reload it up. Thank God for that, because that's like when all else goes to shit, you know, that's the, that's the one we can rely on. All right, you know what? We're just going to keep sneaking. What was that? Oh, that was a brick. So we're going to have to fight fucking tarantulas now or something. There's no point in me even sneaking, right? Because there's... Yep, okay, let's go. Feels like I'm taking damage in here or something. Is there anything there? Let's see if there's anything here. No. Nope. All right. We out. Oh, we're in, but we're out of the sewers anyway, at least. Cheeky little hill. We've got some more shotgun shells. That is good. I feel like just picking it up and... 
Let's throw it down there, see if we'll distract anyone. No, no one, okay. severed horn I was saying please do not blow it whatever you do do not blow it I am the worst honestly just crouch sneak around oh there's no one here okay I thought there may be some enemies up here, but I guess not. Coming to the room. A lot of light, no enemies, is what I like. Oh my gosh, we got the machine gun. Amazing. Man, I always wanted to try one of these. Amazing. Got the Tommy gun, nice. Uh, all these things. Our ship was raided while in the dock. All these things were recovered, but... Blood was shed. Several men were carried into Mississippi River and drowned by the ones who live in the deep. So that's the monsters. All items have been signed and delivered. Now best to keep the papers safe. What is left later is right and hell and back again. And hell is back again. So what is left later is right and hell is back again. What is left? Is that in the sewers maybe? What is left later is right and head is back again. So, go to the left, maybe, I don't know. Right, let's. Okay. You gotta go manifest on. September 19th, 1892. Breck Shipping Company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. 1892. Okay. There we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. All right, so we now have the address. I was hoping for something a bit more, but any little helps, honestly. Some. Your map is of no use here. So look for the address to the Dark Man show inside shipping company, okay? Let's see what this machine gun is saying. Are we gonna? See an action. Okay, we have to go through that door. I can hear like these things. It sounds like they're in the warehouse. Oh, they are. Oh shit! 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 Get the fuck out of here! Heal up. Reload up. Reload up. Don't get stuck. One more. No. That's a big motherfucker. Okay. 
Okay, we got him. Ooh. God damn. Yeah. I should have saw that coming. Of course they're gonna bite straight through the door. My face must have looked crazy. Surely they're gonna give us like a health, a health bottle or something. You see what we've just been through, man. Looks like the fog cleared up. This is where we came from. Okay, we're not going back down there. I'm not fighting no more. The fog bag has lifted. They're just you're looking for. It's just down the street. Okay. So, not that way where it's foggy. And not that way, so it's right here. Creepy ass house, this could never be me. This could never be me in real life. What would I do if I was in a situation in real life? Probably just stay put, wait for somebody to come and rescue me. Nobody will rescue me. And probably just, just die there, innit? Sad, sad death, really. You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where we are! We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No can't. We were tied on loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. Ugh. 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 God damn it, Jeremy. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. There's no help in him. There's no help in Jeremy. Let's have a look How at this save coffin. someone who doesn't want to be saved? Yep. Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Okay, we can't do nothing like that. I was literally just saying that you cannot save somebody that, has, that does not want to be saved. Okay, so the code is down here. Um... I can remember that. Can I remember that? I think I can. I've got to look up what the number means. There we go with this bullshit again. Let's have a look. Um, so that sign, that sign, and that sign. 
so it was that sign, so Gemini, Scorpio, and Pisces. So two, three, ten, two, three, ten, I think. No, two, two, five, ten. Let's have a look again. Was it that one? I may have got it wrong, but let's see. The address of the event. It's the M with the other thing. No, it's Virgo. Okay. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, five, eight. Or two, eight, five. Or two, five, eight. Okay. So that's the coal, right? It showed here, it showed the coal. Oh shit, we can go in there. That is so dope, look at that. Let's enter. It looks like we are in ancient Egypt. It's like been one of my dreams, man, to visit Egypt. I've never been. I do want to go and see the pyramids before, you know. Mother Nature does its thing and and destroys it. It's on the bucket list. I will do it. It's I mean it's held up for a long time, but I don't know how much longer it will hold up for. You know. Uh, and one of my other favorite games was Assassin's Creed Origins because just because of the um, where it was based, it was based in, a, in in ancient Egypt, and they done a great job with the architectural um, pyramids and the reconstruction of the pyramids as well. Man, it was it was dope. I almost felt like being there, you know, myself. So that was a that was a good that was a good feeling. A sunken desert temple. I better get down there. All right, so we can't drop down there. We're gonna have to run through this way. What was that? Okay, there's nothing. A lot of these chests have nothing in there. So disappointing. But we got some rope, so that's how we're gonna shimmy down. Beyond the Nile Valley. The temple of Nephron Ka lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found. In the very depths of our universe. Okay, just giving a description on the on the temple. I would have thought it would it would be cool to um to live during the you know ancient Egyptian times. I thought that would be pretty cool. But then as well, there was a lot of dark stuff going on. But just imagine seeing the pyramids in its glory. Can I? Am I meant to shoot this or what? No, nope, I'm not, okay. Yeah, just imagine seeing the pyramids in its glory, you know? And the pharaohs and everything. It would have been, it would have been amazing. All right, let's get down there. Is it given an option to use the rope? Are we meant to tie it to something? Maybe this rock, okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's head down. I'm actually excited to see what it looks like in there.
Use the old temple mechanisms to reveal the contract. It's the star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. The Taurus. And one star's... I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? Right. Imagine being able just to like time shift like that is crazy. Oh. Oh shit. Ah. Get off me. Heal up. Oh my gosh, it's so fucking hard to hit. At least it's one shot though. You got one more? Or is that it? No, that is it. Okay. What is that? Oh, a brick. The bricks in this game. Can we get ammunition please instead of bricks? That would be... That would be nice. They don't want to give me ammunition. Hmm. Lens carrier. Okay, so the light is going to pass through the. It's going to open up here. Looks operational. Oh, pull it on here, open the door. It worked. So cool, but creepy as hell. Actually feels like you're in, in a pyramid. Okay, we've got more of those flying things. I'm trying not to waste bullets at them. Oh fuck off, mate. Ah, oh, annoying little fuck. Get off me! Oh my god, another one. I'm gonna die. These things are fucking powerful and I've got no more health, fuck's sake. God damn. Uh, out of all the enemies, that little motherfucker. Alright, you know what, let's go upstairs first. We're still gonna have to fight them, right, I'm sure. Alright, let's try and get them one shot, man, that'll be good. Nice. That's how it's done. Can we get some ammo? No ammo, amazing. Huh. Lens carrier. Ah, uh, so we have to get it. Okay. It's the, the bat there, it's not. Right, let's head back down. And get these lens carrier. I think we can get it from this room, right? That we left. No, oh, because if we get it, that door will close. So let's see if we can pick it up from here, maybe. What is that? What 
What the fuck is that? I'm hearing them. Oh shit, fuck off. They are so annoying. Fuck. Okay, we just had to. We just had to. Maybe we should have used that all along. We can open this door here. What door opened? Nope, nothing there. No more bats, please. They are annoying as fuck. Okay, children of the dark sun. We will be taking that pickaxe. Can we get some healing? Ah, so this is where we're meant to go once we've completed everything. Did we come through this way already? No, we didn't. Okay, it's just like a big loop. Oh, wow. Can these snakes hurt us? I guess not. Some healing, please. Healing, healing, healing. No? Okay. Is that where it's meant to hit? No, it's meant to hit here, right? The star. Quick save. Just to be on the safe side. Even though I'm saving with no health, I don't know how smart that is, but we're doing it anyway. What is that? Oh, wow. Okay. And that's where we came from. Nice. Can this be broken? Okay, so we need to get the torch onto, onto there. Maybe if we go back through, we can possibly pick up the... Uh, There we go, we should be able to pick this up, I think. We're taking that off here, can we take that? Oh no, okay, we can go back upstairs, right? Because we picked up one of the stars, so we can go back upstairs and just slap that under. 
I think it should work. I hope it works. I hope it works. I really look on this side. There's nothing there though. Hmm. Okay. This directs it. Oh, fuck off. Oh, you can burn them. Oh my god, amazing. I did not know you can burn them. It worked. Wow. I just gotta use that all along instead of trying to shoot them. Say less. Okay, that's the last one. We have to go back down. But I guess when you're actually... When you're running around, you're not able to use the lasers, right? So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to shoot them. But it's nice... To, oh, shit. I'm such a potato. Reload, please. Take your time, reload. Thank you very much. I am so broke. Like, honestly, what am I doing? I missed so many shots. It's the reticle, you know? You've got to wait for the reticle to to get smaller again before you can um, actually hit the target, which is annoying. Okay, nice, it's like a little cheat code. Wait, can we use that to open? It goes all the way, does it go all the way? Okay. So we got one more. Still no health. I mean, that just adds to the horror, right? When you limit your health, and you're like, death is for certain, isn't it? Death is. It's definitely guaranteed. Let's see if we get something here. Yeah, so great. They limit your health and your ammunition, so you have nothing. Amazing. Right, it's got to turn that around. I don't know where that is pointing, but we're about to find out. Let's have a look. Okay, it's the last piece. Can't pick that up. Is that? I don't know, but we can't pick it up anyway, so we'll keep it moving. I'm just gonna use the Tommy gun, you know. I'm not even gonna fuck around with all that other shit. And I'm still gonna be a potato with a Tommy gun, but let's see. Who knew those bats though would be that hard? I honestly thought like one little swab and you, you know, you're clearing them out of the way, but they might be the most, they might be the most annoying enemies that I've encountered so far. Huh. 
Okay, third one. Third time's a charm. And we got it. All right, let's do it. We can go up this way, right? Yes. Let's get in there, mate. Let's get in there. Last one. And Bob's your uncle. Oh, shit. No? Okay, we'll go for this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, not you motherfuckers. Fuck it up. Oh, 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 we're going this way. We can't go that way. Ready to collapse. Let's go, come on. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Get the fuck out of the way, get the way, get out of the way. We're just out, we're out of here, we're out of here. Which way am I going? Am I going the right way? I don't even know. I wanted to pick that up, but there's no point. Okay. Wow. We got it. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, temperamentic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Oh, wow. No. Ah. 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 Hey. Hey, detective. <gasps> What are you doing? Oh, I found something. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside your setup. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I worry, Detective. Don't, I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. At least you're a good distraction. Trust me, you're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. <laughs> okay, fellas, ladies, that's gonna be it for this playthrough. Thank you for joining me. Um, when we re when we resume, we will be. Um, taken on chapter four but i appreciate you thank you for joining me peace out one love